Let's talk about Motion VFX new plugin. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. For full disclosure, Motion VFX gifted me these new plugins to use in my video workflow and for me to do this demo. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. If you have been following the channel, you will know that I'm big on knowledge sharing, especially when it comes to photography and color management. Obviously, the medium that I'm using to share this knowledge is video, so I'm filming this and I am also editing the video as well. Every now and then, what I like to do is give you a peek behind the curtains as far as the program that I'm using to do all these editing, and that would be Final Cut Pro. When it comes to the visual effects or the graphic effects that I use in my video, I have been exclusively using Motion VFX because I find their motion graphic the easiest to use because you just pick the one you like, you drag, you drop it on your timeline, and you can just customize it the way how you want it to be. Now, don't get me wrong, there are more powerful programs out there such as Adobe After Effects and Apple Motion. However, when it comes to time, especially on my end, I have a fairly limited amount of time because I am a full-time photographer and I also consult with different photographers from a wide range of topics from Lightroom catalog management to hard drive to which computers they should buy, setting up their computer using a workflow, working with them on their network management and everything. So I do a wide variety of consultation, including color management. So when it comes to sharing these knowledge in the video, I like to get it done as fast as possible and get the video so that you guys can learn from me right away. And like I said, for me to do that, I use Motion VFX. Now, one thing that I want to share with you is that I have been using our plugin much longer than I have been collaborating with them. So majority of the plugins from Motion VFX that I have in my library are one that I have purchased from them. And only recently have I started collaborating with them and they gifted me a few more for me to use in my workflow and for me to share this with you. There are three new plugins from Motion VFX I want to mention. M Podcast, M Keynote, and M Title Kinetic 2. Let's start out with M Podcast. The reason why I want to touch on this first is because a lot of times what I would do is get a plugin that has nothing to do with the creative discipline that I am in. I don't have a podcast channel. However, there are certain elements within M Podcast that I can certainly apply to my creative work and the videos that I am doing. For example, one of the things I really like is the ability to do quote very similar to what you're seeing right now. And with that, I already have a clip that I have with a background as well. And what I can simply do is throw in a clip just like that where it would just give me a quote. So for instance, I can use something like this when I am doing a Q&A video. I can have the question come up on the side and as I'm answering the question, you can see pretty much the question being asked or the prompt for that question itself. And I find this really useful. Another thing that I also found really neat about in podcasts is that occasionally when you do need that waveform, you can certainly choose different variety of waveform from M Podcast. So there are certain uses for it that I do definitely like. Uh, typography would be one of those like big things that you don't have to necessarily do a podcast in order to add this in on top of your video. In fact, for instance, if I add this on top of my video, that looks like a really good lower thirds title in a way, or just like lower thirds on one of the corner of the video in a way. But I think that could be something that works really well. And you can certainly go in and customize all these things. For instance, you can change the header color, but you can also go in and change the bar color as well. You can change the background color. So for instance, if I want it to be something like purple, I can certainly click on that and I can change the fill opacity a little bit more depending on what I wanted to do. So there's a lot of customization within their motion graphic plugins. And this is something that I really like about what they have to offer because you just pretty much pick the one you like, put it on your timeline, customize it in the inspector and you're done. You're ready to go. You don't have to go in and plan all those keyframe out because you can just drag this pretty much if I want this longer. Well, I'll just go in and drag this to the duration that I want. And pretty much that is all that I need to do, which makes life very easy. 
Next is M Keynote. And I'm really looking forward to this one because I plan to be using this quite extensively in a few of the product reviews I have coming up. There are a lot of great elements in there, including backgrounds that are dynamic, such as the one you're seeing right now. And what I'm about to share with you is something that I simply just pretty much drag from the asset available pretty much put them together on the timeline and just quickly rearrange them. Now, what I really like about M Keynote in general is that Motion VFX have done a few things. They have taken some of the elements from the Keynote application that runs on the Apple computer desktop or the one on the iPad for that matter and put some of those elements into this plugin. In addition to that, they have also taken some of the Apple Keynote, their presentation element that are really just awesomely done, awesomely put together, but those are the effects that are not really part of the Keynote application and made them into a motion graphic that you can put together and you can highlight products that way. And I think this is really awesome. And this is the reason why I'm really looking forward to this. For instance, this was put together very quickly using the board element. And you can see that right there. What I've also done with this is that, as you will notice, this thumbnail here or this little graphic here that in general we think of it as a static graphic i have actually put in a time lapse so you're going to see that the elements are constantly changing as you know the titles are going in and out and everything this is really neat a few other things that I like about M Keynote as well is that they have a bar chart that you can certainly go in and choose. And they also have some of those charts that Apple has been using to compare their processor as well, which doesn't give a lot of metrics on the side. There's another one that you can see there are units on the side, which may help a little bit. I don't see myself using this as much, but I want to highlight that because they're really modeling this after Apple Spring forwarded when that they have announced the Mac Studio. And this is something that I really like because it just brings graphic like this to someone like me who doesn't want to spend a lot of time in After Effects or Apple Motion to really do all these things. And I can come up with so many different uses for these graphic plugins. In fact, one of the things I also like is the title. And there are many other elements as well. This is a waveform from the uh, podcast. One of the things that I do want to share is some of the other things that you can certainly do. Now, when I show you the graph and everything, I'm showing that to you on the background, but what you can simply do is put in a graph on top of a picture, on top of a video, like I am doing right now as well. So you can get a lot of really dynamic things happening in a video, which I think are really great. There are many things that you can do with this. Obviously, there are miscellaneous. You can throw in a clock, a number. You can do like a small detail thing, web address. There are image placeholders that I find really awesome. So for instance, you can do something like this, put a image placeholder there and there's like different drop zones. In fact, it doesn't have to be an image placeholder. What we can simply do though with this is put in different videos. So I'll put in a uh, time lapse for drop zone one, drop zone two, I'll put in another video. We'll apply that drop zone three, I'll put in another clip of myself speaking apply that clip and for drop zone four, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. But you get the idea that you can click on the drop zone, pick the video you want, pretty much drop it in, apply to the clip. And now you can have something like this where you have four videos playing simultaneously. Obviously this is something that you can certainly do this yourself too manually, but it does make it a little bit easier, especially when it comes to like photos and everything. And certain things are very simple, like these drop zone for the four videos. I would say like, this is simple enough. This is something that I can do, but if I'm just really lazy, this is a quick and easy way of going about it. So that is pretty much M Keynote in a nutshell. I'm really looking forward to this. And there are some other elements of M Keynote too that I really like. For example, there is the list thing. And I think the list is really cool because what you can do is have this list going like this. It's pretty much like in that rotating wheel thing, which I think is really neat. And this is also something that I use in my recent videos as well. This is pretty much a word coming together like a big word. That's why it has the word big showing there. But what I want to do is highlight a few of these M Keynote plugins that I have used in my recent video that I did on Profusion. So for instance, on the title sequence, I have the 
very similar to like Apple Keynote title going in with my logo. And pretty much Motion VFX is smart enough to work with the PNG file that you have, this static graphic, in order for it to do all these graphic effects here. And none of this is something that I have generated. I just pretty much drop in my logo file and that pretty much does everything for me. A couple of other things I want to mention is, for example, you can just do a little note there to denote, you know, the company name and so forth. And lastly, one of the things that I have also done is something like this. So I use this as my outro for my videos. And you may have noticed that I have been using a few new graphic elements lately, and many of them are coming from these new plugins. The last set of plugin I want to touch on is M Title Kinetic 2. I like this a lot because they have taken some of the colorful elements from one of the themes in Apple Keynote application and made it much more dynamic, much more fun in a way, and much easier to pretty much implement on top of your video. So for instance, there's a few that I want to touch on. One of them would be this effect coming soon. and. What we're going to do is expand it a little bit. You can kind of see that coming out there with me scrubbing. So what I'm going to say is Toronto. We'll just do that and we'll play this back really quickly. You can see that coming in and out. That's really neat. Another one I like that I want to touch on here is this one. This is called Improvement. But what I also like on this one, which is really great. So we'll highlight on top of there. We'll do Canada like that. So pretty much this is Toronto, Canada, and you can see that coming in. You can see the graphic happening. I mean, this is highlighting a lot for what you can really do, and this is just really the tip of the iceberg. There's one more which I really like, but I'm not gonna fully customize this. I'm just gonna drag this onto my timeline and show you what you can do with it. But you're gonna notice there is a wording on the top and the bottom, and the middle word just change out as the animation go along. I mean, this is a really great way to pretty much animate graphic. And I think this makes life a lot easier, especially for someone like me who just wants to have these dynamic graphics, these dynamic text in my video. Now, truth be told, I have purchased many of their plugin in the past and I don't use all of it. I only use, for example, maybe three, like top one from each of the plugin. I use them all the time. And you may be that way too. However, if you want to experiment, you want something different. Obviously, each of their plugins come with so many options you can choose from. So yes, even though you are paying for these and for me, even though I'm paying for this, I'm using only like maybe three, I still find that worthwhile. But there are many options that I think you're gonna find this worthwhile as well. I'll leave my link to Motion VFX in the description below. This is a commission link. You'll be paying the same price and still qualify for the full discount. However, if you click on that link before you make any plugin purchase, Motion VFX will give me a small commission, which definitely will help out this channel. And I would say that because of Black Friday and Cyber Monday discount, this is probably one of the best time of years to purchase any Motion VFX plugin or any special effects that you may want because you can definitely save a lot of money. And in fact, when I've purchased their plugin in the past, I've also done it during this time of year as well because there are discounts that they are giving. So this is definitely one of the best times to really get all those deals. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe, and hit the bell you're new and in our retrust.